Paul Boy. How are you? Yeah, you're right. See you later. Come back to Benderon next oh next summer. Can't wait. Hi, okay. Hi. Thank you very much, Mark. Good evening, Stevie. How are you? Over in two weeks. Aiden. Well, we're in the uh, Tapas Alley, 16 days to where they're not. Can't wait, Alison, though. No. Yeah, little Miss Sunshine, hi there. Yeah, I've just finished work. Been a half reasonable day today. Oh, thank you very much for that. Hi, Haley. Thank you. Cooking tea whilst watching. Oh, you're multi skilled, Ruthie. Hi, Mackie. Well, we're here going through. See all the foods here? Well, people didn't get in the way. Looks good. Is the food good? Yeah, it is quieter tonight. 10 o'clock tonight, it'll be busy, though. Spanish eat at 10 o'clock or from 10 o'clock. See you in two days. All right, thank you. Can't wait to get over. First of October, that's my birthday. First of October. Because they work till late. Because they're working during the day. And they work till late, so they don't have dinner until late. Because they have a siesta in the afternoon. Uh, stop for a few hours in the afternoon, and then they start up again in the late, like, 5 o'clock until 9 o'clock, and then they have food in. The barrel seats, yeah. Uh, hi, Atlanta. No, I doubt I'll be going past the cuckoo tonight. Um, I don't know where it is exactly. Hang on a minute. Just look it on the other phone a minute. Oh. Trying to find out where it is, it's only. Hi there, she's sitting in Cuba. Photo this time, yes, Cosina. Yeah, that'd be good, Cosina. Now, Hotel Cuckoo is quite a way away. Hotel Cuckoo is, I'm down here on the bottom, look. The Hotel Cuckoo is up near Fiesta Park. I was up there near the other day, actually. If you look, uh, you look, I was up near the Cuckoo, it's 1.3 kilometers away. That's by car, obviously. Whereabouts in Cuba? Oh, good, no. Uh, Alamar, near um, Havana. I haven't been up there, no. That's where it is. I've never stayed there, so uh, 
you've got to be staying there to get up there. That's where it is. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Yeah, it's about six minutes away, so. I was up there um, a few weeks, uh, a few nights ago, about three or four nights ago, I think it was. There's Oliver's, and of course up that way. Sun's trying to come out in Scotland. Amazing views. Anyone can go. Where was that? Oh, they've got a jet ski there, that posh one. Back this, back this night in South Yorkshire. Oh, thunder's on the way. Best place for tapas. Well, this is a good place to come and look for the tapas to see what's around, but it's not going to be the cheapest. This is Tapas Alley under here. You go through there. But um, the best tapas, really, the cheapest tapas is in Tapas Square, where if you look on my last video I put up this morning, um, we go there. We go past there. I show where it is. So we're quite close to the sea here as well. Is that yellow and black on the bend? Oh, you was in there a little while ago, yeah. Where's Madge? She's around somewhere. She's going to be around somewhere. I can't see her at the moment, though. Well, I thought week tomorrow. That's the uh, the white clothes shop. Camera looks a bit dark there. Why is that? I don't know. Why does Spain feel like home? I don't know. But um, yes, I'm in Old Town. Yeah, I eat tapas sometimes. Peach. Me and Stu will be there. Yeah. This is um, the Gin and Tonic Street. This is. Loads of Russians here. Of course there are. How far am I from Omara's? Oh, about. Um, Omara's is just up around that corner there, about a minute away. Go on then, I'll, I'll go up there just for you. Don't be so impatient, Lee. There's a lag because I'm in the U I'm in Spain and you're in the UK. It, it takes sometimes a minute before I see your comments. Hotel Alme Alameda, yes, it was. Yes. Come on, we've got this way then. <laughs> Just up around the corner it is. There's a few tapas bars here. Thanks for the share. You're going to come and visit all the places that was filmed in the program. Well, you'll be around everywhere. Omara's is just there, look. Where are we off to tonight? I don't really know. I never know where I'm going, actually, until I go. We just go. There's Kenneth. There's probably a few Kenneths here. This is the gay bars. Um, here's Omara's look. Hello, Dino from St. Also. When are you filming what was in the program? I do it all the time, Lee. I go past places all the time. They filmed loads of places. Morgan's Tavern, the Sol Pelicanos, the swimming pool, you'll have to watch more often. No, I've not eaten at Montedados. You're going along the beachfront. I'm not sure yet. Santa Faz Hotel just down there. Someone wanted to see Omaras. Work has been okay. It's not, not been excessively busy, but it's still, you know, we've had people in. We've sold a few. Here's Omaras. I don't know if Dave's in there or not. 
A když se, když se podívám, oh, no. kdy stojí, tak... Like someone else is in. They do the world famous pint on a pie for five euros. Great pub. Yeah, it is a great pub. So, yes, they do some good food in there. But Dave's not in there at the moment, Mr. Burgess. I'll let this taxi go by a minute. Favorite beer? There's loads. I, I don't mind, really. I just drink. I don't re drink loads of beer. But it's not a Birchall's pie. Probably not, no. Never heard of a Birchall's pie. I don't know. Have a look. Here's what it looks like. Look. It's a homemade pie, I expect. JD's now. I'm not, a, I'm not a great lover of drink, really. I work in a bar. I see it all the time. It's like, um, you know, being somewhere that you're, you're seeing it all the time, so you don't bother with it. Scotch pie. Yeah, I'd like a Scotch pie. I want to try one, a fried one. I want to try one that's been fried. Yeah, they fry the scotch pies. That's a proper scotch pie. It's been fried. We're just coming up to a nice little place around the corner here called Sherry's. Oh, she's feeding the cat here, look. Oh, it's like Oh, she can get out of there easy yeah, enough, I think. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, so she is somebody's cat. Yeah. Oh, well. She looks happy enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, good luck. <laughs> right, let's uh, sort this call out a minute. I had a call. Uh, it's not till beginning, but is it hot? Of course it is. It's always in the 30 degrees when it's my birthday. My birthday's the 1st of October. Right, we're not going to be able to see much in a minute. So we're here at Sherry's Bar. That's quite a good food bar. That's where if you look back through my videos, you'll see a nice strawberry cheesecake, which was really good. See, si, you're in vivo. See, si, you're coming out for the casa. See. Si. See. See, welcome to Mediterranean. See, you sing at Flamingo Beach. Here we are. Look at the view we got just as we come up there. Oh, yeah. Ah, see. Mel Harvey, who's Mel Harvey? See? Here's the little beach. See? See? Hola, Sunida. 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 See? So I'm multitasking, talking to my wife at the same time. See? Okay. Ciao. See? See? Okay. I love you. Here she is, I don't know if you can see her. I love you, 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 I
No, you can't see her very well. It's too bright. Here's the little beach. This is uh, Malpaz, this beach. Still people out swimming. Can't see very well. I can't see the screen. Evening, hi there. Hop in for a drink next time in Benidorm. Yep. Oh, he's motoring along in that jet ski. God. It's a fast jet ski, that one. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people still in the sea. Can't wait for you both. I know it'll be good. Yeah, she'll be home this time Monday night. Well, no, not this time Monday night, but uh, it'll be uh, about nine, ten o'clock Monday night. She'll be back. Here's another beautiful day here, as you can see. Love Finistrat area. Yeah, it is a nice beach, that one. Yes, he's just been doing a caricature. Looks very much like her. Good. Yeah, the ruins are lovelier. I don't know who ruined them, but... Uh, somebody's going for a pose with the cannons, look. But it's another beautiful, hot night. I'm catching a bit of sun at last. Been in work all day. I can't read any chat for a minute, but... Uh, He was there Tuesday. All right. Let's go up the steps. We're up now on the what they call the balcony of the Mediterranean. Well, the, no, this is the Miramar. The balcony is just out the front. But, uh, temperatures, well, it's been 30 plus today. It's not feeling too bad now, actually. See the beach, that's Ponyendi Beach. If you can see it over there, to us, oh, we're on Benidorm, Espana, Costa Blanca. Still, loads and loads of people on the beach, as you can see. That's how warm it is. Hello from Romania. Was that a Sunderland Tom? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know football, I don't watch television. I don't watch football or anything now. Television, football, nothing. We just enjoy life in the open air, in the sunshine, on the beach. Look at it. You forget about TV and everything else and the news and all when you live here. You just get out and enjoy life. Television, newspaper. I come past in the newspaper just uh, earlier this morning and it said something about Megan for bullying. I thought, oh, can't they? What? Haven't they got nothing else to talk about? What on earth's going on? People want to know that, do they? It seems crazy. People want to know what's going on with royal family and things. You just get out and enjoy life. Forget about everybody else. Just make sure you're doing what you want to do. Here's the balcony. Keep screenshot and it sends it to your friend. You don't watch fake news now. Well, it's all it didn't fake news. It's just rubbish news. Now. I mean, what, why do you want to know about it? There's the parasailing boat. You're just going to get out and enjoy life. You know, when that's the problem. When it's, it's bad weather, you know, you just you're stuck indoors. You, you don't do anything. It's like it's just, just about every day of the year. It's just chillier in the winter. At night you might have to put some uh, jeans on. But uh, 
Monday night she's back. She flies back to Sunday and she arrives here Monday night and I'm going to be there to meet her. So there's the island. Benidorm Bar. It's a famous peak of Ireland where it belongs to the Dovies. I don't know why it's called Peacock Island because there's only seagulls on there. There's only seagulls on there. We've got Levante Beach over here. The sun is not shining this way, so we can show that. You can't hear me. What, what is that? Alcatraz. Yeah. Look at the amount of people still on the beach. Still loads of people swimming in the sea as well. Look. This is what life is all about. Oh, the wind. Puffin Island, Puffin Island is just off Padstow actually. Padstow, we used to go to Puffin Island on the boats when I lived in Cornwall. Oh, the wind was making the noise, yeah. Yep, look at that. People still enjoying themselves in the sea. One of the nights, one of the nights when I finish work, I'm going to have me swimming trunks with me and I'm going to go straight down and go into the sea live. Go for a swim. It is beautiful, yeah. This is such a fancy place to go. In the, no, I, um, I didn't get anybody in the pub today. Ah, uh, yes I did, sorry, I had my moderators in. Hooded. Ginger and Nicole, they came in the bar. They were my first customers. You've never been here. Well, you don't know what you're missing. There is lots to see and do here. They got the paragliding out at the moment. That's what I'm going to be doing when Nancy's back. There's the paragliding look. I shall try and do that live. Yes, you saw the Benny Cactus. Benidorm we are. Benidorm, España. Such a beautiful night, though. Evening, I should say. Yeah, I love doing anything. I love a challenge. I've had a go at the skiing over there, but I didn't do very good at that. I couldn't. It was going too fast for me. It was the skiing. It's cheap. Lager is prices, different prices, different bars. It's cheap. That's all you need to know. Cheaper than um, most places. You're in Benidorm, you might see me, hopefully. Who's that? Who said that? Tina, well, hopefully we'll see you. I've been to Camping Amafri, yes. I've not stayed there, obviously, I've only just gone there. I, I, there's a car wash there. I went to the car wash. Yeah, more than likely I shall see the Solana tonight. In fact, I'm just looking to see if I can see it now. I don't think I can. I would pass out. No, I, w I wouldn't. I love it. I love that sort of thing. Yeah, hopefully I'll catch up with them. I've asked them which bar they're in, and they've just told me they're in a bar. So we just have to wait and see. It's not very easy to move at the moment unless you've got a bit of money. You've got to have money to move to Spain now, unfortunately, thanks to, to Brexit. Hello from me, Yorka. Wish she was in a bar. I work in Collier's Bar in Old Town. Yeah, it's so lovely. There's still lots of people on the beach, as you can see. Still people swimming in the sea just here, look. And that's just one beach. I mean, for those that haven't seen it, look, if I go this way, go through here, we've got the castle and that in the middle. This is what they call the castle, and then there's the church, just the other side of that. You'll pop in and see us, yep. Yeah. It's only about five minutes away from here. I don't know why they've caution, cordoned off this area, but the glass must be... Oh, the glass is broken. Or it's moved. But this is the other beach here. There are two beaches here. Which side is the fountain in the sea? I haven't seen a fountain in the sea. This side has got the beach, look. 
a little beach, Alpaz, which run down. You got, you got them. Well, if you think so, you've really got a mental health problem. You have. You're so. talking to the people who, who don't understand I just watch too much TV people that come here and uh, know what Benidorm is really like they, they love it and they never they never want to leave I know there's no point in talking to them they watch too much TV and they believe what it is what they say on the show on the TV thank you for the gifts People that come here know what Benidorm is really like, and the ones that don't come here and watch that and think what they think, they, uh, they miss, they're the ones that miss out. So thank you very much for that. Well, there's something like 10 or 11 million people before COVID it were coming here every year, so that's quite a lot of people. It is a beautiful place, and everybody loves coming out here again again and again I mean the beaches are safe you know they're shallow they're lovely yeah those that don't come around Facebook yeah I agree I know so true and the sky well we get sunshine virtually every day of the year there's not many days that we don't get the sunshine Coming in a few weeks for a divorce party. All right. Well, I haven't heard of one of them being here before. This is where this is where somebody was saying about the film places where it filmed. It was, it was filmed just here, if you remember, Johnny Vegas and uh, Leslie on a blind date. If you remember that, they ended up here. It was all set up with tables just here. What degree is today? It was 30, 30 plus. If you look at me TikTok, you'll see what it was. If you look at my videos I did this morning, you'll see what the temperature was. It was about 30, 31 at, um, mid, at midday. Yes, it was right here, actually, right in this spot here. Right here it was. That's where they filmed it. That's where the waiter was when he served them. Hi, buddy. Where was Benidorm filmed? Part of it was filmed right here, right at this very spot. You've heard a lot of Benidorm secrets, all right. Yep, it was filmed right here, but they they did dig this up, look, and they found the, the old castle underneath, and they've uncovered it. There used to be a castle here. And of course, the hotel was the Sol Pelicanos, but they never actually filmed inside the hotel. They filmed the swimming pool. And there's the castle, look. That's what it looked like. They've got a model of it here. And they, they've got it written in English as well. So if you want to know, it tells you about it. So, uh, and they showed you when they dug it up there, look. They've got photos. So if you can see that. Johnny lives not far from him. Met him a few times. Does building work for him. All right, yeah. So we've got that beach, Levante Beach, and of course over here, the other Le Poniente Beach, and uh, Malpaz. And like I said, it's still hot and sunny, so there's still lots of people here. Still lots of people on the beach. You say that's the little one, and there's Poniente over there. I don't know if you can see that very well. I could have to zoom in a bit, I think. The little port there. Yes, yeah, so we are at the castle, the balcony of the, Medi balcony of the Mediterranean. 
There's the Grand the Grand Valley Hotel there in the center of it, that big tall rock rocket. So yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. I would say that's that's where um, that's where they filmed it there. Johnny Vegas, so lovely up here. It's one of my favourite spots in all of Benidorm. One of my favourite places because you can see loads and loads of, of what Benidorm is like. Bells, uh, I don't know. Is it the, something to do with it? Eight o'clock, I think. It's probably because it's eight o'clock. We're going to walk past the church now. The exchange rate one fourteen. It was shown. I know. Oops. Okay. Then we got the guy down here playing his guitar. It's so peaceful and relaxing. Chicos, hacer caso, venga. See, it's not English people here, and she's not speaking English. She's speaking Spanish. The big rock is called Pica Island. Lovely, yeah. Listen to that music. Just melt. You just melt. If you are, if you've had any stresses or anything, this is the place to come. You can just sit, stand here, look at the beach, listen to this beautiful music. Princess figure. Yes, they have. Yeah. Look at that. People still getting the last rays of sunshine. It's ninety-five percent Spanish, actually. I was surprised. I saw I saw a survey not long ago, and it said that ninety-five percent of the people here in Benidorm are Spanish. I mean, that's a high figure. That is. I know we're in Spain, so it should be high, but a lot of English have gone back because of Brexit. So there's less now. There's the church. Yeah, it's, it's one of the places you've got to come and see when you come to Benidorm. It's a must must see place. What was that? Not wheelchair friendly. All oh, right. Yes, it is. It's got a ramp there now. Look. You can get up there now. There's a ramp that you can get up now, so you can get up there with the wheelchairs and all now. To get up to the cut top, you can get all the way there now. You can't get down the other side on the balcony, but you can get up to there now. It is wheelchair friendly. They've done that since um, since they rebuilt. You know, after they dug up the castle. There is two hotels just the other side. One is called. I'll show you them in a minute. We'll see them when we go through the gap. There's Hotel Via Venetia, which is a expensive hotel. And then there's the Can Valley. We've been inside them. And if you look on some of my YouTube photos, uh, videos, um, you'll see, because I'm putting every live that I do now onto my YouTube. So all of this you can re-watch. And if you miss some of it, you can go and uh, watch it. Right, this is where the hotels are. Look, there's the Hotel Canfali. This is the Hotel Canfali just here. Where am I from originally? I'm from Cornwall. And uh, Dom has just written it up. So that's where I'm from originally. And here is the Via Venetia. Another hotel right on the seafront. You watch them all again in the morning, yeah. Well, the one I put on this morning is already on. I've already loaded it up. Just up through again there, look. That's where we've just come from. So this is the Hotel Via Venetia. Via. You, you, when there's two L's, you pronounce it as a Y. So it's not Villa, it's Via. What am I having to eat tonight? rice and something 
the Via Venezia. It's a, a f it says it's a five star hotel. This one, look, it's got five stars. So this is a five star hotel. Yep, it's even got five stars on the door as well. Look. That's why it's very expensive. We went in there the other day, they let us in. But I shouldn't go in there again now. But um, you get lovely view from here. There's no no breeze here. Look, you can see the sun is still on the last the last place to get the sun on the beach is right up over there. Look, that's where you need to be. It is the most expensive, is it? Could be. But it is five stars. And of course, this hotel has got a balcony for eating on here as well, like you can see. Sitting right out on the water's edge. Beautiful. This is the, Confa the Canfali Hotel, this one. Fancy having a nice room there right on the edge. I'd love that. Fantastic view. No, I don't miss England. Why would, I, why would I miss England? I miss my family and I miss my friends in England. That's the only thing I miss. I love the sunshine. I love the beautiful weather all year round. You looked at the price of that boutique hotel. All right. That's the RH. That one there is a four star. And that's, I've been told, is very, very nice. Very nice. That's a four star Calidad Turistica, which is quality tourist hotel. People have got their nice plush cars here, look. Here's the church. Hi, Ali. You stayed here. They're in March. It's fantastic. Look left. There's something going on in here. Just so what's going on. Five to six degrees at night in the winter, 20 plus during the day sometimes in the sun. Thank you, Pat. Mass, yeah. Yes, it's wood carving, that is. All carved out of wood. I don't know. I don't know if there's an English mass. No, I don't know why Karen has left either. Seems strange. She seemed to be like a kingpin, but uh, obviously a falling out of some sort. Don't know why. Yeah. So I'm not over this Danny getting married. Yes, of course it is. Hi Samantha. Hi Martin. So yes, there we go. And you can go in and light a candle. They've got candles in there, look. You can light up. You just put some coins in a box and the candles light up. So we've done that the other day. It's a massive great big entrance. And the doors. I've finished work.
Good evening. Yes, I'm in the beautiful church right next to the Hotel Canfali and the Via Venezia just there. The sky is beautiful, isn't it? The Spanish are very religious, Ruthie, yes. They are very religious. Right, now you can go that way. Those of you that know this way, you know which way I'm going to go. Good little shops here as well. And if you're hungry between 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock, this is the place to go, Twisted Cocktail. Between 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock. The food in there is cheap and brilliant. It's good meals. Straight down the end there, that's the, the Gin and Tonic Street, if you carry straight on down. That's where I was just now. I was right, I was just right down at the bottom there just now. You can see Gin and Tonic Street with the trees. We're going to go this way, though. We're going to go down through the little narrow streets. This is where you ought to go. You shouldn't go on the main roads. Go down through these little narrow streets. If you look down through there, there's murals. There's a cat, there's fish, there's boats, there's all sorts. So if you've got kids, good place to bring them when you come up because they won't get tired. They'll be too busy trying to look at all the murals and trying to see what they are. The other is an upside down pussycat. So if you bring the kids up this way, you can get them up the steps without realizing they've come up the steps. They can look at the things on the floor. Is there anything to do with the Mormons? Loads of stuff. Well, I don't know if this is or not, but it's just, I don't really know. I mean, they just like being artistic. No, they don't just have um, paved streets. They, they try and do something with it. You can't get lost. You'd, you'd never be lost for long. You just keep going and you'll soon find your way to somewhere that you would know. But it's just beautiful. I mean, you look at it, you know, it's so picturesque. And those people that hate think Benidorm is something different, they don't see this. Yeah, this is the old town. They've got, you know, they've got a bit of old wall here, so they put a mural on it look, to um, cover it up. Hello from Liverpool. Just the police driving around. Oops. October is fantastic. My birthday is the 1st of October. I've never had it below 30 degrees yet in all the time I've been abroad. So, the end of October, sort of Halloween time, is when we start getting thunderstorms that bring the temperature down a bit, but it still not bring, doesn't bring it down loads. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Love the Mars bar. I like Mars bar too. Is Marathon is pretty good. Or Snickers as it's now called. Come on, let's go out on the beach. I love the beach. There is a tourist office just here if you need one. They can tell you things that I don't know. So I don't know everything. In fact, I don't know many things really, but I know enough to get by. Yep, police went by. Thank you, Kay. This is the end of Ponyanti Beach. We're just like that, we're at the beach. Look. Yeah, I know. That's why I got away. Your birthday's the second, Tilly by Nature. Oh, there. That's why we're good friends. Our birthdays are close together. No, not long now. Just a couple of days. Benidorm Te Espera. Dom, oh, look at that. Behind the clouds, that's a new one. I haven't seen that one before, Dom. Wow. I thought that was going to be the Zen one. It looked a bit like the Zen one coming up. That was amazing. Oh, look at this. Solar system. I thought that was the universe coming up then. 
Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you, Kay. Hi, July. We're not in quite in July yet, but we won't be far off it. But the sun is just this minute gone from the look. In fact, there's a little bit of sun left on the bottom end of the beach. Thank you for that, Kay. September is fabulous. September is probably the best month because it's it's not blistering hot and it's not not cold at all. It's a bit like now, actually. Sort of in the in the thirties and twenties at night. And the paragliders are out. Look, still. There's one there, and there's one just over here. That's right. She's gone underwater now. There's one just just being reeled in. So yes, the paragliders are out. That's something I'll be doing soon. Yep, yeah, she'll be home Monday night. October is a fabulous month. Yep. You'll still be in shorts and t-shirt and you'll be sweating during the day and it'll still be warm at night. <laughs> 51 days you'll be here, Kay, not too long now then. Skyscanner.com, booking.com, have a look. Keep checking every day. You might find a cheek, cheeky weekend away. You might find a cheeky few days away. No, I didn't win the lotto. Yes, I'm working tomorrow between 1 and 7. And also, it's Danny's official birthday party. It's not his actual birthday, because we've had that on Tuesday, but it's official birthday party. There's going to be loads happening tomorrow. There'll be some free food in the bar as well. So if you come a bit later in the afternoon, sort of after you've had a bit of fun on the, on the beach. Yeah, Danny's around somewhere. He might be even watching. But um, he's out around. You can get cheap flights. Skyscanner.com. Try them. So uh, you come out here then and join us in these lovely little bars and sitting on the seafront. There is an app, I believe, yes. Thank you, Emma. But yeah, we got uh, Martin's getting loads of food and all in, so it's gonna there's there'll be a bit of food as well. Got a bit of a party going on. Because the official party is uh, on Friday, although his birthday was Tuesday. <laughs> that's Spasso's, that's a nice Italian restaurant. I've had a good lasagna in there before and a good pizza actually. There's so many places that with such good food that it's difficult to say which is the best and they're just all good really. You just come along and sit where you fancy sitting and eat really. Look at the prices obviously at first but they're none, nowhere is too expensive. It's not a rip-off place Benidorm. Not like most tourist resorts, Benidorm is not a rip-off tourist resort. My favourite dish, chicken tikka masala. I'm an Indian food lover, but I do like uh, Chinese curries as well. Chick uh, Kung Po chicken is one of my favorites in Chinese. Yeah. A nice Kung Po chicken or chicken tikka masala is my most favorite meal. Lamb buona. Oh, yeah. Thai is the best. Yeah, I do like Thai as well. Yeah, I do like Thai. There are some Thai restaurants here as well. There's some Nepalese restaurants as well. And one, there's one that's called the Napoli. I'm going to go to that one soon. So I, I need some people that fancy going and I'll go with them. Or me and Nancy will go with them because it'll be ne after next week now. Curry, that's why people come back. That's right, Ruthie. It's chicken curry, yeah. Chicken tikka buana. I'm going to have to try it. What we'll have to do is just go to one place where they've got the round table. Everybody buys something different and then we just take a bit of each. Try it all. Book with Sunmaster. How much? 520. That's good for one adult and three kids. That's brilliant, that is. 
Heather, you, you, you did your homework. Look at that, look. 520 in November. And you'll still have good weather. Because November, don't forget, the uh, is the Benidorm Convention. 18th to the 20th. We're going to go meet Madge and the rest of the crew. I'll be liking rice. Well, I do like rice with me. Um, Indian, of course. But I do like the um, the keema rice or the chicken, uh, the mushroom rice. The keema rice is good. So I do like a keema naan as well. This. Yes, don't forget all these videos that I'm doing, these lives. They're not going to be in such good quality because TikTok does reduce them a bit, but you, you'll be able to see it. I am putting them up to my YouTube channel, so if you want to go and watch here, subscribe as well if you could. Be brilliant, but they're all going to be up there. You're with me on the chicken tikka masala. That's good, Ken. Are you about every night? Just about, yeah. Just about every night. This is the main street up through to the... Uh, in fact, we'll go up here a minute and you can see how quiet it is. Vietnamese, I don't really know. I haven't, looked, I haven't seen any Vietnamese. I've seen Japanese. Right, we're going to leave. Last look at the beach, because we did the beach last night, down to Tiki Beach. We're going to do a little bit of the town tonight. I've done up around the top. We'll do a bit, little, little bit of the town. So you can see that. So last look at the beach. My dog is fine. I haven't seen her for a while, to be honest. I haven't seen her for a while. Is it normally that quiet at night? No, it's not normally this quiet. It can get busier sometimes. Yes, the tourist board should be sponsoring me, I know. You have to tell them that. I need people to uh, get hold of them and tell them that. Maybe uh, I might get sponsored then. It's looking a little bit quieter up through there tonight, look. In fact, it's very quiet up here tonight. Somebody said it's quiet. Thank you for sharing the live, Rasheen, to more than five friends. Best lives in Spain. Thank you very much, Tilly by Nature. I like your lives as well. Everybody should follow Tilly by Nature because he does some really good. Uh, well, never work out. They do some really good lives as well in Australia. Looks enough people for a nice atmosphere. Yeah, always a nice atmosphere. Most of these people are, are Spanish, obviously. You shared 30 earlier. It is quiet, but it is thirsty. Well, you say it's quiet, but is it really quiet? Look. It's quiet in some areas. It depends where you are. The beach is quite full. Look at up here, look. You ought to tell me if it's quiet when I get up here. I'm going to be fighting my way through up here. Oh, hola. Hola, Laura. Sorry, I, re I realise what you just said now. Hang on. Yeah, I, th I thought there was a few people around. Your favourite uh, ale op is up there. Yes, it is on the corner. And then, of course, just up past there where we went earlier. That's where the um, the Vista Aura Gold is, Magic Crystal Park, and, of course, the Zodiac and the Tapas Bars, Tapas area. You just see your sister. All right, you'll have to watch it again then, Jay, because this will be on TikTok, uh, on my YouTube channel as well. So... Um, you will be able to see this again. I will be posting up as long as TikTok doesn't do something stupid. I've had one or two videos that 
had technical faults. I don't know what's happened. But uh, everybody's queuing up to do their lottery look. That's the lottery, because here they, you can't get them just anywhere. You, you've you got to get your lottery from special... They are government-run lottery shops. That's the only places you can buy your lotteries. Hi, Mike. Hi, Nicole. Who's not Mike? Yep, so that's the only place you can get it. YouTube is the same name. There's a, there is a link in my bio. So if you go to my bio on TikTok, there is a, just press a button and it'll get straight you there. It'll get you straight there, sorry. Hotel even need ever need air. I know. It's because they've never been here. They've only watched TV. That's the trouble, honey. Honey, Joe. The reason is they watch the TV and they think it's all like that. You know, you... I show you what real Benidorm is like. My wife, Louise, is asking about Nancy. Yep, she'll be back again. She'll be here on Monday. You've got yours for tomorrow night. Yeah, I've got mine for tomorrow night. TV program only shows a tiny piece of Benidorm. That's what it does. Are we knocked over? Yep, of course I'll fancy beer. Fancy a fancy lemon right now, though. Hi, Kelly. How are you? What's that? It should be bad. Well, no. I mean, I'm showing the real Benidorm. I'm better than the TV shows because you see everything as it really is. You know, I'm not hiding anything. So I'm better than the TV show. You get to see what it's really like. I am counting down now. Yeah. And so is Nancy. Oh, you're talking about that lady, are you, Nicole? And also over here, you can only buy tobacco and cigarettes in a tobacco shop or a machine. Some pubs have machines, but you, there, there's, you don't, you can't buy cigarettes in a supermarket like you can in the UK. So you have to go to a, a special tobacconist or a machine. They're open quite a, quite a lot, so you know. Ben Ron got back two days ago, but again, see, that's what happens, Sam. Everybody loves it here. They want to be back again. They don't get enough of it. That's why I'm here. I, I've been here five and a half years and I still haven't seen everything. I haven't done everything. I haven't been everywhere. I haven't tried everything. There's still so much to do yet. And I'm going to try and do some of that this summer when Nancy's back. You live in Mercy, but let Benidorm go there a lot. That's good. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for saying hi. Thank you very much for liking it. Hopefully you move there. It's not expensive. No. That's what I mean. This is why... Oh. Mustang. Thank you very much for that. Am I following you, Mustang, Diane? No, I'm not, but I am now. You're retired. Married from Madrid. I hope it's nice. And I'm going to Madrid Monday. Monday. I should be in, Mid I should be in uh, Madrid Airport Monday, heading to the bus station. We catch a bus at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Back from the station Estacion de Sur. No, it's not expensive to live here. I don't know about moving, but it's not expensive to live here. You're welcome. Thank you very much for that. It is very cheap to live here, yes. It's probably one of the cheapest places in Europe. And of course, you've got the sunshine. Hello from Uganda, Africa. There's probably cheaper places to go, but, you know, it's not bad here. And of course, they've always got something going on. The meal average, well, you can get a, a full English breakfast from five and a half euros. You can get some meals for, well, a, a Chinese, three course Chinese meal, eight euros fifty. That includes half a bottle of wine. You can go to the tapas bar, get six tapas with a bottle of wine for six euros. Um, 
you can go to the Indian and get a full Indian three course meal for 12.95 euros. I mean, that's Indian, tikka masala and all. I don't know if I'm walking back or not. I never know. I see how, me, see how well my legs do. So I do get a problem occasionally with all this walking. So I do sometimes catch a bus. Go, oh, thank you very much. Mustang Diane, that's very, very kind of you. Thank you very much. You know what you do? You make me feel like I put one of these on Mustang Diane when you do that. Look, there he is. I've got a halo. But I've got a bigger halo just here. Somewhere, where's the two? Oh, there he is. I can get me head inside that one, look. There we go. I got me halo on. Thank you very much. You've just given me that halo, Mustang Diane. Thank you for that. Saint Nigel. Yep. <laughs> got my favorite shirt on, one of my favorite shirts on, as you can see. And the shorts to match as well, actually. Uh, yeah, you can't see the shorts, can you? Doesn't like to show me shorts. Or got the matching shorts as well. So I look like a palm tree. Um, no, it's not too humid tonight, actually. It's quite fresh. Hang on, let's go and see what the temperature is. Coming to Bender on tomorrow. You'll love it here. Let's go and see what the temperature is. I'll see. You don't believe what? I mean, it's such a lovely place. Everybody eats out. Look, look, look at the restaurants here behind me. Everybody just sits and has a coffee or a beer or something. St. Nigel of Benidorm, thank you. Such a relaxing feel here. Now you feel so relaxed, so happy. And yet I still see, I, I still see a few people going around with a, a sour face and I think, what's going on? Is it easy? No, if you, if you, it's easy for anybody to get a job if you've got the right paperwork. Oh, your battery died, so you're back on again. Tori Lugano. Oh, yeah. That's near where I live, actually. I live up there. I live just before you get to there. Right, temperature, 76 degrees it is. 76 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, what, 24? Hi there, Miss Muddy. Is it, it'll, it'll put it up in degrees Celsius in a minute. This one is always one of the chillier ones, but uh, let's have a look. Sapas 8, 25. Oh, 25. Uh, there we go. So that's the temperature right now. Hi, Dean. So there we go, 25 degrees. Not too bad. Not too cool. Doesn't go much below 20 at night nowadays. Hi, Jay Wills. Hi, Hoodie. Miss Muddy is a great friend of mine. All oh, right, Tilly. All oh, right. Hi, Miss Muddy, friend of Tilly. We'll see you soon, Jeff, Mon, and Jalisa. Yep, we'll see you very soon. Hi there. How is it going? We've got the, uh, that, what do you call it, an announce, announcement board, advertising board there, the round one. Looks fabulous. Looks really bright at night, obviously. Does look better at night. You're going to be back soon in Bulgaria. That's, ah, flight to the dorm was cancelled. That's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Your life makes me want to move to Spain. I know, honey. Everybody wants. Everybody should be here, to be honest. Everybody that loves the weather. Got a KFC is if you need it. Look. Sent me and Carly saw you on the beach. It was my twenty fourth. Spent five days there. Decided to go for a week next time. Yeah, you will. Well, if you can stay longer, you will. I know that. Everybody wants to be here as long as they can. 
This is Benidorm in Spain, this muddy. The KFC is new, yep. This one here, the fountain, light, lights up different colours at night. Weather is still very warm in September, yes. It only starts to cool down really January and February. Um, December sometimes can be, but you know, it's still quite warm. You'll still be getting suntan during the day. You'll still be in the 20s during the day and maybe chillier at night, that's all. A few hotels here. You've got the Benidorm Plaza just there in front. Rent is cheap. If you're long term, that is. If, you, if you're living here, it's cheap. You're an EU citizen. Well, if you're an EU citizen, yeah, you'll be all right. No problem, honey Joe. I wouldn't have thought so. If you've got EU citizenship, then you're okay. If you're still in Europe and you can come here and work. It is a lovely fountain, yes. And of course, that's what I call the halo street because it's all halos down through there. Looks lovely at night. You love being Irish. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to have an Irish passport as well. Yep, that's what we call the halo street. What you called sheep. Well, we, I pay 450 euros a month for two bedroom and that includes uh, water. So it's about 400 quid a month, including your water. So you've just got your electric and your internet and your hacienda on top of that. How about the round tower? There it is. Any Irish? No, I haven't. No, I haven't got any Irish grandparents. You're welcome. I try and answer everybody. If I miss anybody, it's not because I've... Um, not because I've ignored them, it's just because I've missed them in the chat. If I bring the motor home, you may stay a couple of months, that'll be good. I've stayed uh, I've stayed normally from December until March or April when I used to have a motor home when I lived in France. So I did live in France for eight years before this. Then I'm okay, I've got a I've got residence here, so you know I can stay here as long as I want really. After ten years I can uh, apply for a Spanish passport. So um because you've just got to learn a bit of Spanish and I'm pretty good at Spanish now so I could probably pass the test hopefully because you have to do a Spanish test oh it's not raining in Devon is it? do I need a hoodie? you don't need any jackets at all in fact you just need something very light like what people are wearing now it's not, it doesn't get cold at night now, and it's not going to. In fact, it's only going to get warmer. I should advertise on that screen. Yeah, I might, uh, I might inquire about it. I need two GoFundMe pages. One for to get advertising on that board, and the other one for me little electric scooter. Or me, um, on me wish list, Amazon wish list. I don't know how to get, get me an Amazon wish list onto me TikTok or anything, but... I'm after getting a little electric scooter so I can go around all the other hotels that are a little bit out of the way. I've got to work on my accent. Yeah, I know. Hi, Angie Jumanji. I have seen you a few times. I didn't say hi, but I've just spotted you again. So I know. Imagine my face on there. That would be good. See you from space. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know. I'll go with that far. This is another another nice four-star hotel, a grand entrance, the Madeira Centro. It's Cornish Spanish, you're right. I'm trying to find some, some birds for Dom to tell us, um, cause see a hire shop. Yeah, I, I, it's getting time to do that, Ron. I'm always out and about. I'm always at work. I need a need a week off. Apparently, we're having a couple of weeks off in November, end of November. So, um, might sort something out for then. He's going to close the bar for two weeks. He says from the 23rd of November. So uh, that will be when I have my holiday. I'll be, I should be coming back to England 
for a little while. Or Cornwall. Uh, St. Awful, Rami. If you know where St. Awful is. Here's the main bus stop here, by the way. This is one of the main bus stops. This has got what we call the Madeira Central bus stop. And you know about the... Um, do you know about the QR codes? What time is it? Not oh, one hour ten. The QR codes. If you want to know when the buses are, while well, we're here live, I'll show you. Because I haven't done one for a while. On my phone, I've got a QR code. On my, on my phone, I've got a QR code there. Look. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I press that one, and it gives me a QR code. And here, look, what's this? It's picked up the code, so it says open in browser. So I open the browser, and then it uh, normally comes up. Normally, this one seems to take a while on this stop for some reason. We'll keep a look at it, but it should tell us the num what buses are coming. The number of the bus tell us where it's going might have to wait a little bit for some reason no they don't have the real-time information they've got this this qr code but i might have got too many windows open hang on a minute let's see if i can i'll stop it and do it again because i've got too many windows open here i'll have another go with it hang on Let's have another go. Right, so give me a QR code. Oops, there it is. Open in browser, just as quick as that. Is it going to do it this time? It's not going to do it now. Look, when I want it, it does on the other bus stops, it comes out a lot quicker. I don't know the number of the bus. Uh, there's some trips. There is some bus trips that go there. That's not going to go. I'll keep it in my pocket. We'll have a look in a minute. Because it will stay there. So, But there is some bus trips to the waterfalls. You can get some of them. Um, Tui does them. And so does Roundtown Travel. If you look... Actually, Dom has put up a Roundtown Travel information on my Facebook page. Come on, Doc. Yes, if you keep a look on the, the Facebook page. Oh, electric taxi Toyota there. Oh, hang on. Stu has just put up a box with 100 coins in. I'm going to sit down and have a rest a minute, Stu, while that weight comes up. Stu has just put a box up. There's some 100 coins for people to win. Hang on a sec. I'll have a look now and see if this thing comes up on my phone while we're resting a minute. Everybody, there's a chance to win some coins. I'm still waiting for this to come up yet. It's still not come up. So uh, I'll sit here until this box goes off. Chance to win some coins. Tell me, oh, loving life to the full. How are you? How are you? Hope you're okay. Thank you for that. I know we're our friends, I think, already. Yeah, we are. I thought we were. You'll be in Benidorm on Saturday. Or... Oh, you're staying at Sol Pelicanos. Oh, well, we, we might see that. Well, we will see it a bit later. You would have missed the bus, I know. Well, there's no bus yet, so... We've got 1 minute 44. Let's have a little look around then. Right, so we've got... The Hotel Madeira Centro, just there. Just here. Hang on, my lead's getting caught up. Yep, thank you very much for that, Stu. Streets look very clean. Yeah, Benidorm is a clean place. Just behind there, there is a couple of three hotels. There's the Victoria, Princessa, and the Royal, the Royal, um, what's well, called the HR Royal, yeah. And just up the, that way, We've got the Poseidon. You can't see it from here. Actually, they're all hidden. Oh, there's a bus, number one. And he's going to Aqualandia. That's a, that's a bus that I could catch if I was going home. 
on the bus. That one there, Aqualandia, it's going to Aqualandia. I live right near Aqualandia. It passes to Central. Number 11 is the bus that would take me right past the house, basically. I'm glad you enjoy it. What was that you want to ask me, Stu? Mr. Woo's is up around the corner. I'm in KFC. Which KFC? Which KFC are you in, Jar? Because there's three. You're flying tomorrow. There's three KFCs in Benidorm that I know of. Well, there's more than three, actually, but there's three in the actual city part. Which one are you in? I'm fine, thank you. Flying and learning life. Oh, living and learning life. Why did I say flying? I don't know why I said that. I'm in the bar next Friday, yes. Oh, I've never done a live. No, I haven't, but Grummet has. Grummet has. Thank you very much for the gifts, Michelle and Roisin. What's that? He will be one to seven. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mustang Diana Sue. Make sure you're grabbing all these gifters. Minty Cartman, hi there. Oh, thank you very much for that. Loving life to the full. Thank you very much. You're flying out next Saturday. You want to come back? Four nights wasn't enough. No, four nights isn't. Oh, you got your coins. All oh, right, there we go. We'll head down for lunch. All right, four coins for Billy. Three for Roisin. I didn't look, so I haven't got any. Right, okay, then now the coin box is gone. Let's go for it. Carry on. Thank you, Ruthie. So just up around the corner is Mr. Wu's Chinatown. Rice and chips. Grummet is back in on Saturday. All right. He's back in time to meet Nancy then. Thank you very much, Nanny Mac and Danny. Thank you very much for those gifts. Thank you very much. Hi there, Diane. Hi Sue, thank you for the rose. Right, we can see it we can see those hotels that I spoke about now. Actually, there they are. And there's another bus. So there is the print there's the era park right in front. Just to the right of that, you can see it's the Princessa. And here, this one here, this big one, that's the Victoria. Just the other side of that is the Royal. And the Era Park, the new one that they've just finished refurbishing. How does he do it? How does he do it? I can hear seagulls, so can I. This is the central part now. Old Town is just up to the left up there, or over that way. That's where Old Town is. This is what we call central Benidorm. No underground in Benidorm. It's not that big, I suppose, it, that it needs it. We've got a good bus service. There's only 155 on the bus, whether you go one stop or you do the whole lot. Up by the way, up there on the corner is the Crown, Baxter's, the Castle. There's a few little bars there. That's a few little English bars. You're at the Flamingo Aces. Oh, you've been in the Victoria. It's nice in there. It looks nice. Hey. This is um, a little pedestrianized street of cafes from around the world, really. You've got your Spanish one just here. You've actually got a Spanish bakery here, which is closed at the moment. They're normally open in the mornings. Your favorite TikToky. Thank you very much for that. Thanks for saying that. But I just love the, the atmosphere. You just see people sitting out. Everybody's so relaxed, the vibes, the vibes from this place just... Thank you, Stu. Rossomar, it's right down the end. In fact, if you continue down this road, I can see the Marina Hotel down there. That's the strip. There's the Marina, look. If you look, that grey building there, there's the Marina Hotel. The strip is just there. So we're not very far from it, look. In fact, tonight, we'll go and see if Sinatra's is open. And we'll see if there's a special car there parked up as well. Thank you for the Daisy Smurf. Thank you for the stars, too. Right. 
Yeah, we'll go and see if Sinatra's is open yet. We haven't done that for a while. I might as well walk. No, these are all these are all Spanish people here. Those might be English here, but um, this is all Spanish people here. You know what car I'm talking about. You do, Dom. He told me about it when I used to work with him. So you don't know. It looks fabulous, doesn't it? it? Looks absolutely amazing. I know he had a he had a tattoo done with it. I've seen the tattoo, Uncle Peds, yeah. Coming along now, you got and there's a nice Indian restaurant here that I've been told about. It's supposed to be very good. Never been in it though, the Indian Gate. It's the only Indian-owned restaurant apparently. Where you've got um, you've got a steakhouse here. Look, there's steaks up to well, they do lobsters and everything. Look. I'm confused. I thought it was Jade's. Oh well. It is Jade's. It is Jade's car. Can you have a look outside the Riviera? Is she going to be at the Riviera? Is she? The car that's been repainted? Yeah. The BMW M M3 GT. No, M6 GT3, isn't it? Yeah, I know Jade's had the Hulk put on it. So, oh, there's another box just gone up. Who's put that up? Stu has just put another box up. Thank you very much, Stu. We've got another box. Uh, when you click on that box there on the left-hand side, it should say following in that box. I've just clicked on it. It is. I am now. Sorry, Stu. I didn't realize I was not following you. I am now. There's the Indian restaurant. That's the Indian restaurant. Yeah, so don't forget 2 minutes 20 and there's some more coins to be won. Thank you very much for that, Stu. You missed the last one. Got a pizza. Hi there, yep. Yeah. I am, yes. How are you? Sorry? Benidorm TikTok guide. So it's easy. And all the videos that I do live, these like this one now, you'll see on YouTube. So if you want to watch yourself again. Yes. Have a good one. Have you eaten yet? Have you eaten yet? What have you, what have you ordered? Pizza. Oh, pizza. <laughs> yep, so if you want to watch it again, it'll be on YouTube uh, or from when I get it posted up there. Because I'll be downloading it and putting it on there. Well, have a good one. Enjoy your meal. You'll have to let us know on there then. Put a comment on to say what it was like. All the best. Cheers. So there's the Indian gate. Oh, we've got some people over there waving. Hi, cheers. So this is the Indian gate restaurant. That's the only one that's owned by Indians. Yeah, nice lads. So, and they do a menu, special menu for 39 euros for a couple. There's 39 years. Hi. It is lovely in there. It? I've never been in there yet. I might get there one day, but I just love it. And uh, you've got the Argentinian steakhouse here, look. There's the Argentinian steakhouse. So if you want to come to steak from Argentina. Now there is all steakhouses around here. And of course in here, It's the Tijuana, a Mexican restaurant. Look at this, a restaurant. If you've never seen this. Hi, Agnes, how are you? Look at this for a, a, re a restaurant. A Tijuana, Mexican. Yeehaw, Mexico. A bit of Mexican music going on as well. This is Central. 
Oh, you've got some coins. Who got the coins? Let's see what it's like. It is bright. Who got the coins? What did you get? Is that a boxing ring? It is, yes. They've got all the masks and all there. Oh, you had your surgery. How are you feeling now, Agnes? How are you feeling? Agnes has been in hospital. Six coins, Randy. Yeah, lovely. And of course, you can sit and eat outside. La Tijuana. You missed the box. Oh, dear. Yes, it's a lovely uh, restaurant. Like I say the vibes you get from here. It's just so relaxing walking along here. There's the halfway house. Thank you for the daisies. North Pole, thank you. Oops, I missed you. Everybody grab anybody that's gifting there. Thank you, Sandra. Lots of food coming up here. Oh, another box gone up. Who sent that? Oh, oh my God. DJ Dom has just sent a box with a thousand coins, everybody. A thousand coins, not just... Wow, there's a thousand coins up for grab in four minutes and 40 seconds. A thousand coins up for grabs. This is the lounge here, the Tower Lounge. They have entertainment every night as well. So lots and lots of uh, entertainment going on. They got Matt here, of course. Live shows every night in here and outside as well. The coins, you, you win coins. Hello. Hi there. Yeah, lots and lots of places to eat food. And of course, here is um, here's a famous bar. This is the Winner's Bar. This is Winner's Bar. And of course, there's uh, somebody famous in Benidorm. A few people in here as well. Pretty packed out. Sorry, okay. Oh, well. This is where Lucy, the Benidorm enthusiast, works. I can't see her at the moment. She might not be in there. Oh, there she is. I just spotted her. She's out there, but cleaning, the, shutting the doors. Look, there's Lucy, the Benidorm enthusiast. Make sure you give her a follow on her YouTube. She does a lot for Benidorm as well. She's done a great deal for Benidorm. So that's Lucy in there working away. That's where she works if you want to come and see her. And we're here uh, by the Los Alamos apartments. You love it. Yeah, she is very good. We're going to be hopefully doing a video together soon. We do plan on doing a video together soon. Yeah, we'll probably see Mike and Nicole tonight. That's the Seven Seas here. Seven Seas pub. Um, just at, It's by the HB Centre. Got the Los Alamos Hotel over here. You've got apartments and a hotel from Los Alamos. Looks like you've got a fire going on there or a barbecue or something. You can see smoke coming up. I don't know if they've got a barbecue or something going on. It smells like a barbecue. I can smell it from here. A lot of smoke, anyway. It does smell like a food type smoke rather than um, something just burning. So that's the Los Alamos. Oh, there's Nicole. Nicole is there, look. This is the HB Center, which is a four star hotel. Looks, uh, looks very nice as well. Goes up quite a way, as you can see. HB Center. So, I say we're heading down the strip towards the strip anyway.
over this side we got the Los Alamos. Must say we're quick. Probably a nice price. You want bed and breakfast, yeah. They're a bit burnt, Tom. They are a bit burnt. A bit red. Yeah, there's loads of hotels around. This is obviously the dining room. Don't know what time the dining is in here, but uh, there's nobody in there at the moment by the looks of it. Oh, there's a few in there. I can see. But it looks a nice hotel as well. The Los Alamos is a four-star hotel. So it should be okay. And we can see inside. They've got a posh one. They've got a revolving... Look at this, they've got a revolving thing on the floor here. Look. That's posh, isn't it? Yeah, very posh. Revolving light on the floor. Los Alamos Beach and Art Hotel. There we go. I don't know what they've got in there. That could be the bar or something in there. Thank you very much for the coin. Oh, you got some coins. Oh, it's gone, is it? Right, who got the most coins in? Who got the most coins? Five coins from Inti. Brian was two. Come on, there was a thousand coins up for grab. I want to see who got, the, who got the most. Two. Somebody should have got more than that. Ten for Dean. You got eight. North Pole got ten. Thank you very much for the, putting those coins up, Dom. Rebecca got ten as well. Andy got seven. Tommy got four. Thank you very much for that. Seven for you, Lee. I didn't get any. I didn't look at it. I forgot about it. Still a few more coins coming up. Kyle, you had uh, seven. This is the Hotel, Hotel Diplomatic. How do I get the coins? You click on the box on the left-hand side there. I'll click on it because it's still there. And I will open it just to see what I did get. Oh, I got four coins. If I click on there, I can see who had the most. Oh, Rebecca, you had 10. Chris had 10. Dean had 10. North Pole had 10. Lots of people with nines as well. Lots of lucky viewers, it says. Make sure it says following on there. By the way, make sure you're following Dom for putting that up. Thank you very much for that, Dom. What I think I might do is now that we're... When we get up to the start of this... Or get up near the strip, I'll, I'll restart the live so that I can put it in two parts on, on YouTube, so it's not uh, too long. you got two as well, Hannah. Here is Uncle Ped's town. Not a lot of people know this, but Uncle Ped has another bar here, look. The Galapacidia. What how do you mean, update on it? What was wrong with it? Mike and Nicole are in the Galapacidia as we speak. Thank you very much for that, Rebecca. But this is Uncle Ped's Town Bar. Just along here. They've got two places. This is just a, like a like a bar in the town, I suppose. You've got two. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Amy May. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Dean. Hi, how are you? Good. Some more people want to be on? Gallo Gate? No, it's called the Twelfth Man now. Just up here, anybody staying in the Sandos Monaco? We can't really see it very well, but the Sandos Monaco is just there behind those trees. That's the Sandos Monaco Hotel. I can click on it and I can see it tells me how many people got. That's I suppose because it's on my live, I, I got the I got the thing to see that. But uh, you're staying in the Sandos Monaco. Oh right, there you go. Then that's where it is, just up there, just the other side of those trees. We might get a better view in a minute. Um, can we get a better view from in here? I don't think so. But if you want to know how far you are from the beach, hang on. There's the beach here. Look, beach is just there. Look, you see that pole. 
that pole thing there, that's that's where the beach is. So you're not very far away if you've never been there before. It's not very far away. If I go across here, I might be able to see the Sandos Monaco a bit better. This is Uncle Ped's up, by the way. You've got seven for the first time ever. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a better view of the Sandos Monaco. Look. There it is. So it's a, it's a lovely hotel. We've we've known people there. No, it's not very far. You just walk down this lovely street, and they've got some lovely lighted fountains and all across from it. You just walk straight down this one, straight down this way, and straight to the beach right there. Easy. What you do with the coins, you can use them to to um, buy gifts and give people gifts if you want. Or you can cash them in. If you get 10, 10 on mine, I think 10 euros worth, you can cash them in when you get up to 10 euros on gifts. Glitter pod. What looks scruffy? We're in, we're in the back streets of Benidorm. Doesn't look that scruffy. Wanna play darts? Here's Sue's darts bar. And there's a little sort of walkway around there. There are some prices of beers there, look. Six bottles of San Miguel or Heineken for 10 euros. Budweiser's five for a tenner and Mal. Grown and Despero, four for tenner. Rough area. No, it's not a rough area. There ain't no rough areas in Benidorm. Look at all these dartboards here, look. If you want to come and play darts. Hi there, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. You know, we got a star from uh, Bargain Love and Brits in the Sun here, look. If you watch Bargain Love and Brits in the Sun, you'll have followed her and her husband going around cleaning the, the beer lines in uh, Benidorm, in Old Town. There she is. So she's been on TV, along with the same programme with Danny. No, was it the yeah, same programme with Danny, wasn't it, when Danny was on? Yes. Yeah, same time that Danny was on. Because they interviewed Danny about cleaning the pipes. That's right, yeah. Yeah. So there you are, another star from the TV show. <laughs> oh well, I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah and you. Yeah, 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 bye. Yeah. yeah, you remember. Yeah, there we go. Shelley remembers you. Who? Shelley's on here, <laughs> one of my friends. Yeah. See you later. That's right. Near three before eight, Soulborn. We're not. Well, we're not that far away, actually. It is the next street up and down. I think it's the next street or the next one up again. It's a couple of streets away. Miami, never been to Miami. I got a brother-in-law who lives in Miami. Nancy's brother lives in Miami. We're right outside the, um, the Bellroy Hotel just here. And that's part of the Bellroy there as well. And if you're staying at the Azure Springs, and that there is the Azure Springs, the back of the Azure Springs, just here. That there is part of the Bellroy there, along with this bit. So we're continuing on. I can see the lights from the strip down there now. What's that you knew, Mike? Oh yeah, I know. She used to work there, actually. She used to work in 3B4, 8, the soul bar. She used to work there. And then they closed it for a while. And then she uh, she's working in Sue's Dart Bar now. But she goes around with her husband on a Sunday doing all the lines, cleaning the beer lines. She does our lines as well in our bar. So we have them cleaned every Sunday. So you get a good pint every time you come along. Your three friends are enjoying that. Remember you, Alfie. Yes, I do remember you, Alfie. I'll see you this time. 
Right down there, look, you can see it. There's the strip. We're going to go a part away the strip, then we're going to go up and look at uh, Sinatra's. We've got to enter the square, and then we'll go up by Sinatra's. Right, I've got a green man. And the green man looks like he's going to start running. Oh, no, he's, he's, he was running. 48 days until you're here. I thought I saw the green man running. There's too much traffic to jaywalk tonight. Privy, Priv, yes, I remember you as well. 007. Can't forget a name like 007. I know it's 0071, but it's a 007 that... Uh, oh, look, I'm going to sink across. I'm going to jaywalk. I've got 29 seconds to go and I'm going to jaywalk. Hope there's no police around because they will have you for it sometimes. Oh, there's a police car coming down. He's got his lights flashing. Oh, dear. I've just been jaywalking and now he's flashing his lights, so he's having me. I don't know where he's heading. He's, he's zooming down through here. I won't put it straight on him because he'll think that I'm videoing him. But uh, then we got the Clinic of Europa here. There's another clinic. That's another place you can go for if you want medical care. We got another box up there. Who's done that? I Stu, did. thank you for that, Stu. No, thank you very much. I did, I did. And if you need to go to the post office, there's a post office here. That's the Correo. That's what you call the post office over here, Correo. I don't know if you can see through there. It says Correo's, so that's post. So, uh, and then of course we're going to go down the strip a bit now. Is it hot? Yes, it is hot. 20, what was it we saw on the sign? 20, 25. 25 degrees. So there he goes. He's not got his lights on. Look, he's zooming down there now. He must, somebody else must have took the call. Two more days and you can't wait. Take us to the beach. We went to the beach yesterday and earlier. We was at the beach, Alfie. I was along the beach last night. We're going to go along the strip tonight and see some of the bars and places. We'll do the beach tomorrow on the way to work, so keep a look out for that. And we always normally start off some of the beach as well, so have a look on my YouTube channel. This will be up on the YouTube channel, so if you want to watch it, it'll be there. You'll see all of the beaches. Well, you'll see three of the beaches. Because there are six beaches here in Benidorm. Don't forget that box in one minute and five seconds. Yeah, still looking dull, I know. Terrible. Do pool parties, yes. Uh, the Marina Hotel, which is just... We're going to go past it. We'll go past the Marina Hotel. Glad you enjoy it. Thank you. I know it's against the law. That's why he was probably flashing his lights at me, just to give me a warning. Can anyone go to the pool party in the marina? Yeah, they have a phone party in the marina. They have a public phone party. Coming down to the start of the strip now. This is where the strip starts. What do you do with the box? When the, well, you click on it. If you click on that box, make sure that it says following in that right-hand side for a start. And when that gets down to zero, click on open. I'm not going to open it because it's for you guys. Jaywalking is literally crossing the road. It is, yes. So here we are. We're at the Rockstar. Someone was asking about the Mary CL. I said that we would go past the Mary CL, and there it is. That's the Mary CL apartments. And of course, up through there, that's the yellow brick road. The Rio Park is just up through there. I can just about see the Rio Park up through there. So that's where the Rio Park is. Empty. All right. So that's uh, the yellow brick road up through there. Safe to come at this time of night, but don't go up there on your own late at night. 
don't go up very late at, don't go don't use this bit late at night i don't say that anything will happen but you you won't you're not going to tempt anything to happen so mary sailor nice yeah so i advise just to be on the safe side only to be on the safe side and if you want to go to a, a spanish bar meet some spanish women or men you'll put another one up soon okay thank you so there's one there called the tipsy parrot it's a big spanish bar so um if you want to meet some spanish guys and girls that's the place to go looks like we've got a hen party going on here yeah looks like we've got a hen party going on because of course this is part of the the Miller's Bar, Stag and Hen Party Zone. This is the Stag and Hen Party Zone. There they are. So it's all part now of Miller's Bar. They've got a rooftop terrace up there where they do things. You've asked the same question 10 times. What one? So this is the rock star. And a few, like I said, hens here. Look. What have you asked seven times? Right, I'm going to stop the live now. And I'm going to restart it. Ratio men to women. There was loads of women this week. There is during the midweek. Loads and loads of women during the midweek. Right, I'm going to stop this live. And I'm going to restart it. So make sure you're following and join me back in a few seconds. I'll give everybody a chance to do it. And then we'll restart and we'll carry on down the strip. So, uh, hi Adam, how are you? Nice to see you. I thought we might have seen you before. Oh, there's loads of women here now. You wait and see. Right. Okay, then I'll see you in a few seconds. I will just stop and restart. There we go. Join me in a few seconds on the other side and we'll carry on down the strip. Well, it's not adios, it's just hasta, lo, hasta pronto, hasta luego. You're in Benidorm. Right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm coming on again. I'm just gonna switch off and switch back on again.